Well, that was great. Now, Jamie, I know that you were around in the old days. So how about you tell me what was battery tech like maybe coming from like the 60s up to the 90s? Okay, so let's just be clear here. I didn't start my career in heavy duty till 1998. So uh, I wasn't there selling heavy duty parts back in the 60s. You know, if you grew up, let's say, like I did as a kid in the 80s, or if you're older than that, um, and even you, Diana, you probably, you know, the early vehicles when you were a child that your family had, they were very mechanical. So think of that station wagon that we all drove around in as kids with our families. And Think about how the windows, you know, there was manual roll up and roll down. The clock actually wasn't even digital. It was an actual clock that had hands on it. The radio, you know, was not a um, complicated device. It was an eight track, a, a tape player. Then maybe in the 90s, it was a CD player. But again, we're talking about very, very basic inside of the cab controls. And when you think about those older vehicles, they were basic. They were mechanical. The The load on the battery was really only ever needed when you were going to start the vehicle. Maybe if you were going to listen to the radio with the vehicle off, that was about the only time you would ever draw battery power, right? So when you think about how everything was manual in those vehicles, um, it was no different in commercial trucks. In fact, uh, you know, they had less comfort uh, than than automotive back then. So with old trucks, there was really just four batteries. They were called Group 31s, and they were starting batteries. They were just there to start the vehicle. And again, maybe if you had the truck off and you were operating your CB radio or you were operating uh, the radio to listen to music or something, that would be about the only time you would ever need to use battery power in those older vehicles. But of course, everything has changed now. Right, exactly. Now, I'm 29 right now, but believe it or not, I am old enough to remember why we call it rolling down the windows. But nowadays, I think of my personal vehicle and everything is electric, right? And I'm sure that that's carried over to heavy duty as well. Oh, absolutely. In fact, um, I would say even more so. So Especially if you're in the long haul business, you have a sleeper cab and you've got creature comforts built into that vehicle, right? You've got a microwave, maybe you've got a PlayStation 4 or 5. You you've, you've uh, want to control the climate in the vehicle while you're sleeping. And then in addition to that, there are so many more electronic components in the cab of that truck, right? So everything is electronic. You've got big display screens, you've got electric windows, you've got specific ECMs just dedicated to controlling the seat of the of the vehicle for the driver. Like it is crazy how much these vehicles have changed and have been modernized and how much electronics are now used. And you think of also telematics and it's just it just the list goes on and on and on. 